I think too often when we talk about entrepreneurship, we're thinking about people that are these like visionary people with these brilliant ideas. And I really think entrepreneurship is more about consistency, finding something you're good at, doing it over and over and over and get really good at it. And then you can come up with the brilliant solutions and the ideas um, and the new little add-ons or whatever for your business. But for me, when I think about business, I'm thinking about landscaping companies. I'm thinking about restaurants, dry cleaners, right across the way here is a jeweler. I'm thinking about stuff like that. These aren't like visionary new ideas. People have done this over and over and over again. It's just getting good at it, consistently delivering a good service or a good product. And then over time growing, making some smart decisions and maybe making some like brilliant new ideas or whatever, right? But it's about getting really good at something and just being really super consistent about it. So I think that's what reselling is all about too. It's about just getting good at it, getting in your reps, being consistent, getting to the thrift store over and over. So anyway, we go thrifting every Tuesday, one o'clock Eastern time. We do it live. I share the whole experience with you. We're gonna go into this here Goodwill. We're gonna spend about the next hour doing what I always do, going to the thrift store, looking for items that we can resell for a profit on the interwebs. Thanks everyone for joining. We'll have some fun, hopefully you'll learn something. Happy Tuesday, everybody. As you know, I, I tend to focus on clothing. 90% of my business, maybe 95 right now, is clothing, mostly men's clothing, some women's clothing too. At this thrift store, we pay for most shirts and pants. We're gonna pay $4.99, so it's fixed price. Some things will be marked up, but not really. That's one of the good things about my local stores is they're really uh, flat rate, consistent pricing. All this stuff I'm gonna to purchase today, I'm gonna to list on eBay, Poshmark, Depot, Mercari, Grailed, and Facebook Marketplace. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Always appreciate y'all being here. 93 people already in the chat, 96, 2.2K likes. Appreciate y'all tapping the screen. That just tells TikTok you're having a good time, invites more people into the conversation. And thanks to you, those of you who are watching this on YouTube, this will be recorded and dropped over on to YouTube. That'll go up tomorrow. So if you missed part of this, you're just popping in for a few minutes during the day, you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. It'll go up tomorrow. Welcome to my YouTube friends as well. If you haven't subscribed over on YouTube, you can just click on my name and go ahead and click one of those top links and you'll go right to my YouTube page. I have probably 24 of these live thrift recordings up there. I think a lot of good learning in here. Big and tall, nice Chessie's basement. I like your style. Appreciate everyone jumping in. Thanks for the follow, Chessie. Chessie sounds like an electronics reseller, so appreciate you being here too. We'll swing through the electronics. We'll see if we can find any deals. What is this brand? I've been finding valuable t-shirt brands that just seem very, it seems like there's nothing special about them, but they end up like being like, selling them used for like 25 to 30 dollars these random brands we found a couple of them recently what did we find last week maybe it was two weeks ago at the same store we found something like this does anybody know this brand philo should i be looking out for this you might need your help on comps by the way since you're on my phone i can't comp things on ebay to check value so i might need your help does anyone know this brand here i'm gonna throw them in the cart maybe somebody 1999 new pass on that thrifting tree. Okay, mine does three for 11.49 on shirts and two for 11.49 on pants. I like those prices. Yeah, we don't do it. Like, there's no, there's no sale days. There's no tag of the week. There's no, yeah, super Sunday sales, dollar days, nothing like that at, at these uh, Goodwills. This is a Goodwill. It's part of a regional Goodwill called the Goodwill of Northwest North Carolina. All the Goodwills are run regionally. They have different management. So what you see at my Goodwill might be a lot different than yours in terms of pricing and sales. This would be a really great find here, by the way. 3XL tall Polo Ralph Warren. This would sell for um, close to $30 on this plus shipping, 25 to 35, but uh, all stand up. That shirt's seen some days, some bad days. 
Will Comp for coffee, I love it. No use sold on eBay, cool, I'll put that one back. Thank you. We've been lucky lately with the, uh, some random t-shirt brands that I've never heard of that are worth good money, but that was not one of them. I can't remember the one from two weeks ago, if anyone remembers that. Is the Southern Proper brand any good? Why does that ring a bell? Golf Polo, size 2XL. I know some of the brands have been doing this just about five years, but I don't know all the brands. Southern Proper? I don't know if that's anything. I'll throw that in there, wait for you. Thanks y'all for doing some comping work for me. I appreciate it. And normally what I would be doing when I see items that I don't know the name, like don't know the brand, I'll just look it up on eBay on my mobile app and see what it's been selling for over the last 90 days. It's a brand I don't find very often, Barbora. Size large, just feels like a linen shirt to me. Linen is one of the things we're always on the lookout for. It's a great plus one or elevator. Nice little bonus on the shirt. So there we go, linen tartan shirt right there, Barbora. So this would be a really easy one actually to comp, by the way, too, because most shirts don't have like a model on the tag. So it makes it hard to look up that specific shirt, but that one says linen tartan, so that makes it a little bit easier. All Goodwills are run differently in their own district. Yep, that's absolutely true. The Goodwills I used to go to in Denver had different pricing strategies and sale strategies. Same with the ones I used to go to in Tampa. Ralph Lauren t-shirt will pass on that. They have t-shirts here that they price at $2.99, but they don't count this one as a t-shirt. The only things that are count as t-shirts are the ones that say T on the tag. So this one they'll want $4.99 for, just like a button down. I don't know what you mean, AWM, by that question. Appreciate you being here. This is just me doing my thing. This is how I make a living. Last time I had a job was December of 2021. Sorry, December of 2020, I got that wrong. Gosh, time flies. So it's been about two and a half years, actually exactly two and a half years since I took the plunge and started doing this full time. Here's a Patagonia. It's a t-shirt. I don't know if there's a ton of value in it. And just a cotton, what do we got here? Organic cotton tea. Nice hit on the back though, I like that. What size is it? Size large. I like that. So we got a couple things in the cart. Southern Proper goes from 11 to $22. Is that plus shipping? Okay, cool. I'll leave that in the cart. Southern Proper, why does that ring a bell? I haven't been here in two weeks, but it's funny when I see shirts that like were here two weeks ago. They'll be here two weeks from now too, because they don't run sales here like on tags. That's a great way for thrift stores to get rid of stuff that's been sitting around, is they'll do a tag sale. So that like that tag will be 50% off that color because that means it's the tag that they've stocked four weeks ago or whatever, you know? But they don't do that here. They like hanging on to their stuff. Here's a Callaway. Gonna pass on that. You can see that they're really poorly stocked. There were the last time we were here, they were working really hard to stock it while we were here, but look how empty this is. They're just understaffed. They have a ton of stuff out back and a lot of stuff they're just sending out to the bins, which is the outlet, and they're gonna sell it by pound. They just don't have enough staff. It's still tough trying to find help. The labor market's still tight. I like it, Chezzy's. Um, I'm glad you found me, Chezzy. By the way, I do a live every morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time from the office, shipping out orders. And there's usually a good crowd of resellers in there, a lot of people who know their stuff. It's a great place to meet some other resellers, share some ideas, tips and tricks, ask questions. It's a lot of fun, I think. I'm biased, but it's every weekday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, it's on TikTok. I'm also, I turn on the live on Facebook and 
YouTube. I uh, turn that on at 10 o'clock after I go pick all the orders from the garage. Uh, got a polo Ralph for him, polo. This is kind of an interesting one. So a couple things that are interesting about this is it doesn't have the buttons on the front. I forget what you call that collar. It's got like a little striped kind of weave to it. Size large, I usually pass on. You know, my guess that this is probably a, a 15 to $20 shirt, even with that unique stuff. I don't know, it's got some wear on the collar and stuff. It's definitely showing some age. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I'll look it over a little bit. Ribbed, there you go. Has a weird knit type. That's what I would call it. Weird knit type. Hey, check this out. This is a fun one. Yes. That size sucks. What? Small, medium? That's weird to see that in a shirt size, small, medium. It's like a hat size, small, medium. But look at that. Big dogs. I do pick some of these up. Uh, I look for the unique ones. And this fits the bill. That's cool. This is a really fun find. And guess what? Got another one. <laughs> That's cool. Again, small, medium. What a weird size for a shirt. You just don't see that too often. Look at this. Puppetron, Hondura, that's the name. Got some tequila, some margaritas. What a freaking cool shirt. Imagine wearing that on the beach, just dominating life with that shirt on. Holy Toledo, is that cool. Back to back, those are fun, huh? Those are fun. Usually they roll out the fresh racks right here. So they'll put like one, two, three, and they'll roll out those rolling racks from out back. And we can just uh, shop right after, off those. They leave them out for a little while. They let people pick the new stuff and then they, they'll come back in a little bit and they'll, uh, they'll stock them. So hopefully they roll a few racks out. But this store is so understaffed all the time. The manager who's like a really nice person, she's actually working the register right now. She was the last time I was here too, and she was trying to stock and do the register. She's working hard, it's a tough labor market. In the high school halls and the shopping malls. Form or be cast out. AWM, I don't know what you're talking about sometimes. <laughs> awesome fun to list. Yeah, sometimes Thrifton's just fun. I'll make money on those too. Don't y'all worry. I know you were worried. Unique cells. I don't pick up all big dogs, but pick up some unique, unique stuff. Bigger sizes too, but those are smaller, but they're so unique, you know? When you're looking to get into reselling clothing, you'll get really comfortable with this idea that there's a formula when you're looking that helps you determine value on items. So obviously the brand is gonna be part of it, but then you're thinking about the model, the material, the size, the pattern, the color, and all those things go into this formula that determines like what's that resell rate of that item gonna be and what's the what's the value. And a big part of that formula would be a you know the pattern in this case. I think it's a rayon shirt too, but I don't even care. Yeah, rayon. I don't even care because this pattern is so crazy, right? That it takes care of you know maybe the like it's a, not a good size. So the other parts of the formula aren't strong on that one. It's not a great brand. It's just an okay brand but that part of the formula is so good that we're gonna go on it. So here's a t-shirt that's actually priced like a t-shirt. I think I'm gonna pass on this. I don't really pick up Brooks Brothers t-shirts. I'd pick this up if there was like three of them size medium. I did that last week on three polos, Brooks Brothers performance polo size medium. And I sold them for the three of them for $37 plus shipping on Poshmark. And those sold in uh, less than a week. So if I can find like three of those, I'd probably pick it up. We'll see. Maybe we'll find them. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Dr. Pepper t-shirt. Thank you for the follow, Victoria. Thrifting, yay. What's up, Angela and Michelle? Hope you're well. Thanks for popping in for another live today. Notre Dame is one of those uh, college teams that sells really well. Of course, there's more to the formula than the team. The condition is part of the formula here. Adidas, the brand. This is an older piece here. Notre Dame is one of those college teams that does really well. Oh, the condition's just gonna kill this one. That's a bummer. 
what are some of your favorite uh, college team, like some of the best-selling college teams, Notre Dame being one of the best, if not the best, college things to find? I love thrifting. So do I, Susie. One, Pardon me. Ten, we'll do a quick spin through the shorts. I generally don't spend a ton of time in shorts. Here's some king-size shorts. We've found some of these last week at another Goodwill and comped them out. They're going to sell for more like the $10 to $15 range. I think 10 is probably more common. These are really big. I do pick up some king size. We picked up a ton of really big king size shirts last week. 7XL, 8XL, but boy, I could want these together. There's like three, three that are all 4XL. I just don't think there's enough value in them. They'll be $4.99 each. They're just cotton shorts. Oh, I'm so tempted to buy those and lot them up. I have eight, no, sorry, I have seven king size shirts that are all 7X and 8X. I lotted them together and listed them for $79 got an offer actually today on Mercari for 63 plus shipping on those, but I countered at 75. We'll see if we can land that plane. I think I'm going to pass on those, but I really am tempted to lot those up. Thanks for the follow, Tim. Thanks for sharing the live. Um, I think it's Elena. Thanks for sharing the live. Nice compliment. Thanks for the follow, Michelle. Welcome aboard. This whole recording will be up on YouTube. I'll drop it tomorrow after I put some edits on it, put some comps on the screen so you can see the value of items I'm picking or passing on. And that'll go up on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed over to YouTube, you can click on my name, go to my little website there. And you can subscribe over on YouTube. I've got about 26 of these live thrifts over there on YouTube. Two XL Bud Light shorts. These are kind of cool. <laughs> Let's get some uh, let's get some arguments going in the chat, right? Those are stained up though. Cool design on those with the flip flops and the bottle caps. Some are officials, but all stained up. Everyone get angry. I opened my mouth, so surely somebody's got to be offended by it these days, right? See, yeah, here we go. Relax, people, it's fine. You'll be okay. Blood White Seltzer, also awesome. I don't know if I've, oh yeah, I've had the seltzers. Got to be a collector's item, there you go. Yeah, they're stained, so the conversation's kind of moot. Um, not picking up the Bud Light shorts. They were badly stained, so. Got some new tags here. Champions. Modern. Nothing to see here. So particular, lots of different brands that I look for, sure. Some of you, um, if you're a clothing reseller, drop some of your favorite brands to resell in the chat. That'll help out... Um, it's a lifestyle. How'd you do that with your name, by the way? It's like Cursivy, your screen name. How'd you do that? It's kind of interesting. Never seen that before. Chaotic Princess, let people buy what they want. Who need to tell people what to buy and what not to buy? Well, come on. For goodness sakes. For goodness sakes, people. What are some of your favorite shorts, Chris? Um, Peter Millar is one that comes to mind. I'm so bad at this game, like favorite this, favorite that. I just sort of like take what comes to me, if that makes sense. I'm trying to think. I'll pick up some Nike shorts. I, don't, I honestly don't pick up a lot of shorts. Things like Patagonia North Face I'll pick up. Ooh, I'm in the other. You go, forgot that one. True Agency. I'm so bad at this game. You guys are good at this game. Drop your favorite brands down. That helps us all. I'm so bad at like thinking, just naming names off the top of my head. I'm also walking and chewing gum at the same time. Free people, there's a good one. Filson, Carhartt, Pete, yeah, great. Yeah, listen to these people just drop. Viore, that's a good one. I got a return going right now. A return case opened on me on, on a Viore that I sold on Poshmark last week. Buyer saying the color is not what they wanted. I'm like, well, I took six pictures of this item. These are pretty professional photos. Some of y'all have seen my photos. Like, I mean, Poshmark doesn't allow returns for not liking the color. So I'm 
dealing with that case. Poshmark's reviewing it. Like, sorry, Poshmark's not a return because you don't like it sort of platform. It's a recurrent return because items not as described or something. There's six pictures. You looked at them. You clicked buy. You got a good deal. Anyway, sold some Biore last week. That was the first time I'd actually bought and sold Biore. I just never find it. Okay, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard. Thanks for the follow. It's a lifestyle. Was that helpful? All those brands you get dropped in the chat. I support all those Callaway shorts. That's a good one, especially this time of year when those golf shorts are really popping. I pick up Levi shorts actually too. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. Mr. Thrifastic back with the fires. Good conversation earlier. Appreciated you hanging out at the morning time live. Good combo. All right, we're going to jump over to long sleeve shirts. I still have more shorts to go to, but someone is over there in the shorts. So we're going to skip over here. We're going to hope that they bring out some fresh racks because I got some great stuff off the fresh racks last time. Ooh, the long sleeve shirts are pretty stocked today. Maybe that's a good thing. Here's a king size. 3XL Henley camo. Ooh, came right off the rack. Hanger. trying to hang stuff up. I'm just going to put this in the cart. I'm trying to hang stuff up with one hand is a pain. I'm not going to pick up that uh, that king size. I typically pick up king size and unique items that are 4XL or bigger. That one's a 3XL and definitely unique with the camo, but if you felt the shirt, it feels like, uh, feels like sandpaper. <laughs> it just feels really poor quality. If I got that from somebody, I would like, return it immediately. It just feels so terrible. Uh, King Size is uh, a very mediocre brand at best, but I'll pick it up in really big sizes and unique stuff. Um, here's a big size Polo Ralph Lauren. Look at that 4XL T Pima Cotton. A great size. Any of these tall sizes sell really well. Why? It's a supply situation. There won't be too, too many of these listed at any given time, but there are people that need to buy them. So even though demand isn't super high, the supply is super low. Remember, it's the intersection of the supply and demand curve that matters. Uh, a ton of these will sell in size medium this week, too. The problem is a billion of size medium will be listed, so that's the challenge. It's the ratio there. Here's another 4XLT. This is a button-down Ralph Warren. Definitely going in the cart. Um, somewhere around the $30 plus shipping range on this. Maybe even a little higher on this Pima Cotton sweater. Thanks for the follow, Ellen. Heather, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard. Good to have you. Appreciate everybody hanging out. I do this every Tuesday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. And I try to just show you exactly what it is that I'm doing. Why do I give away all the secrets? People get mad at me. You're giving away all the secrets. Listen, listen there's no secrets in business anymore. The secret is consistency. It's hustling. It's getting out there and doing it. That's the secret. I can't give you that. Hopefully, I'm motivating you to maybe do a little bit of that, but I can't hand it to you. I can hand you bolos, I can hand you, hand you things to look for, tips to sell things faster, but I can't hand you the hustle, and that's the most important thing, the consistency, the hustle. So here's a 17 XL polo, oof, no pony though. I really don't like picking these up without the ponies, got some staining action anyway. Um, but So I would pick this up if it had no stains and it had a pony, but a lot of these Polo Ralph Warren Regents with the button-up collar, a lot of these don't have the pony. Some of them do, but most of them don't. So I'm going to pass on this without the pony. Those have just sat for me, sometimes for years. Fishing rod, nice. Polo stripe down, does bad for me. Yeah, certainly the, um, the pattern is one of the factors. Size being another, and horse pony being another, material being another. I pass on most Lucky Brand shirts, even though this is Pearl Snap. I love Pearl Snaps. What's the size, though? Actually, I'm still going to pass on that. Get that out of my Here's an REI. I don't pick up all of these, but this one's a 2XL. It's kind of a unique one, different pattern on that. I think I'm going to pick this one up. Look at that. It's almost like a big gingham print on it. Like a check. That's kind of cool. I like the 2X on that. It's like a thick cotton, 100% cotton. I'm going to go on that one. And we sell bum equipment and Z Cavaricis. Yeah, turn it back to the 80s. With I haven't heard Z Cavaricis in a long time. That's fun. Bum equipment too. 
I like you, Eric. You're funny. RE co-op is better than RE. Right, good to know. Stain resistant. That's just a nice shirt. Jen's thrifting wall. Listening. Awesome, Jen. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're being productive. Ashley, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome aboard. I have a pair of Caver Caverici now. Are you wearing the Caveriches? That's awesome. Let me know down below in the chat if you uh, put a Z in the chat, if you remember Z Caverici's. <laughs> I've heard of those in a little while. That's for the old heads, I think. I don't know, maybe they still make them? I think only us old heads know Z Caverici. What's up, Max Southern Treasure? By the way, Max's going to be live. Give Mac a follow right now. She's going to be live at 9.30 tomorrow in the time slot that I'm typically live at. But Mac's going to be live. I'm not going to be able to be live tomorrow. Kim's got an appointment, so I'll be with her. But Mac will be live. I think it'll be more fun. Mac, what are you going to be doing on the live tomorrow? Are you going to be packing and shipping? I know you'll be answering questions and teaching, but what's the plan tomorrow? Give Mac a follow. Southern Treasures, click on her name. Give her a follow. You'll get that notification when she goes live. She goes live a lot, too, but she'll be live specifically tomorrow, 930. You know that for a fact. I have a Z listed now. That's sweet. Oh, no. Brianna, I don't think I know what that means. You Lucky brand pearl snap, crazy good sell through rate. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but you were talking about zero exposure, <laughs> Mr. Thrifastic. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. I'll throw it in the card. I'll check it out. Here's a Columbia, a 4XL T. I don't pick up a ton of Columbia, but I think I'm going to pick up this PFG. It's not in like the crispiest of conditions here. It's like 2% dog hair, maybe 1% dog hair. It's not super, super crispy. I don't know. It's a great size, though, on this. I think I'm going to pick it up for XLT. I'll look it over a little bit more closely. If you're watching the recording on YouTube, you'll see something on the screen about whether I passed or I picked on that. It's got to come down to condition, but if I find those 4XLT in good condition, I'm picking them. That tall size is, just sells well. Low supply item. Therefore, it doesn't take much demand to sell it. Do you ever get Jenkos? Yeah, I, mean, I think I've bought one, bought and sold one pair of Jenkos doing this, and it's been a couple of years. Here's a, uh, a really good brand I like picking up that you might not know about, but you know about it now. Carbon to Cobalt. I've been picking this up for years. This feels like it might be, I was going to say it feels almost like a linen blend, but it's 100% cotton. Really lightweight, kind of soft. Is that a stain? I can't tell. You might be able to tell. Sometimes you can tell better on the camera than you can in person. Is that a stain here on the front? Is that coming through? Yeah, Jenkos are great. Can y'all tell if that's like a, like a big stain? Right there, too. I don't know if it's like a light trick or not. I hope you leave them for me. <laughs> Don't see a thing. I think it's stained. Sometimes it's just really hard to tell. Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's a little bit more clear. Yep. That's a stain. No, it's a stain. Yeah. Thank y'all. Uh, what were we looking back for? Fantastic. What were you talking about? The um, Lucky Pearl Snaps? I've had those in the inventory for a long time in the past. But these markets change, and that's worth noting, too. So there's a rise and fall of brands. And uh, sometimes I give up on brands after I've had a few of them and they sit forever and I get a really low sale price, I give up on them. But sometimes they come back too, so I'm always down to learn. Where the heck was that Pearl Snap? 323, yeah, what's the sale price, Mr. Thriftastic? Including shipping, what would be the sales price on those? And I'm not looking for like the highest ones, but the more typical ones. Thanks for the follow, Tony Rich, appreciate it. Thanks for the follow, Richard. Where was it? Is this it? Yeah, here it is. So there we go. It's a Saturday stretch, so that'll make it a little bit easier to comp that specific one, too. Although sometimes that can be um, misleading. But Lucky Brand, it's a Western Pearl Snap. You can see that snap right there. Size XL. Thank you for the follow, Victoria. 
I'm trying to learn right along with you. Mr. Thriftastic is teaching today, that's for sure. So that's what we're looking at is the Western Pearl Snap. I pass on most Lucky brand. I do pick up some Lucky brand jeans, though. 25 to 30 on these, really? Gosh, I know I've had these sitting in my store in the past for a long time, but, but it's probably been years, to be honest with you. So things change, ebbs and flows. And, you know, Pearl Snaps are kind of more in now than they were even a couple of years ago. Uh, mostly men's clothes. I do some women's clothes, too. But honestly, I don't really spend much time in the women's section. I'll pick up like good women's clothes that find their way into the men's section, which happens more than you might think. Or maybe as much as you think, I don't know. Like here's a, that's a women's piece right there. Speak of the, speak of the devil, match point. Is that worth anything? Never heard of it. That was Carhartt. What was Carhartt? I'm sorry. I didn't see a Carhartt. Thanks for the follow, Billy Kaza. I don't see any Carhartt. No Carhartt. I do pick up Carhartt. Most Carhartt when I see it, I find I pick it up. Picked up a Carhartt. I do pick up Carhartt. Most Carhartt when I see it, I find I pick it up. Picked up a Carhartt mm, last week. I think last Tuesday on the live stream. Picked up a Carhartt. Nice one. Kind of a heavy cotton. A couple lucky pearl snaps that have been sitting for months. Yeah, I mean, months isn't necessarily a long time. My average clothing item sells in between 70 and 80 days. So even a couple months isn't that crazy. Especially when you consider the seasonality of clothing. Stained Ralph Lauren. Hey, check this out. This is a... Uh, it's a fake Ralph Lauren right there. That's funny. Wow, look at the stitching. It's actually really bad. So that's a fake Ralph Lauren. Um, do I have one in my cart? Sometimes this is fun because I can show you a real Ralph Lauren. I do. This is fun. Teachable moment. I'll hang these side by side. We'll talk this through. Matchpoint is a good linen brand, always 100% linen. Okay, let's check that one out. Thank you, Reisner. If you're not following Reisner, by the way, you're missing out on a lot of free information to help you with your business. Reisner's teaching me. I've been doing this for almost five years, and Reisner teaches me on a weekly basis something new that I didn't already know. If you think about it, that's pretty impressive. So I don't know if I can tell what... You said it's got to be linen on these? Oh, there's the tag. You're like, come on, Chris, just flip the tag. But it's harder to do with one hand than you think. Um, I can't read the tag. I think it's worn out. I don't. I mean, it's not linen. It's definitely got some stretch to it. it feels like a stretchy cotton. What do you think, Reisner? It's got these little pockets. I don't know what you call this thing. It's got the weird neck. This is why I don't do women's. This is what I'd put in my listing description. Weird neck, pocket things on the bottom, long shirt thing. There you go, that's your, that's your item title. What do you think, Reisner? It's a tunic, there you go. It's a tuma. That's why I don't do women's clothing, y'all. So, all right, here's the tag in question. There you go. So that's the Ralph Warren. Take a look at the, zoom in on the um, on the font on that. That's one thing that you'll look at. Another thing you'll look at is look at the tail of the horse, right? Walk in on those, font, tail. Now come over here, font, tail. It's a totally different font. Look at the R in Ralph, right? Look at the little, uh, the serif on the top. That's a good thing to look at. The serif on the top is kind of a little short one. Look at the serif on the real one. See how long that is. See the difference? And look at the tail. It's like a little stubby tail and it's like a long, thin tail. No, but the, um, that XL looks a little off too. Look at the font on the 4XLT, the font there. Although some of them do have a similar font to this. But also if I flip this over, there's no RN number anywhere. So there will always be an RN on the back of either that tag or on the back of this one. This isn't one of the ones that has a back to it, but um, there can be two different tags where the back will have an RN number. It doesn't have it. Look at the stitching there. Look at the stitching here, just totally different. 
just cheap, cheap stitching. Or are we done? That's a different Match Point brand. Put it back. Thank you. Match Point USA. Gotcha. But apparently, Match Point is a boa, but not that one. Thank you, Ryzen. I appreciate it. Anyway, so that was fun. Definitely fake. It feels terrible. Oh, I didn't even look at the. Uh, that will go. Ooh, that will goes bad. Look at how the uh, the uh, he, the stick that he has is curved. <laughs> He's got like a rounded stick. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, that was fun. Um, that's the most commonly found faked clothing brand that I find is Polo Ralph Warren or Ralph Warren. But even still, it's like less than 1% of what I find out there. Don't let that scare you away. Just let that be curious. And that's all you have to do at a thrift store. Find two of them. If one of them you feel like is suspect, start comparing the two tags. You know? Start looking at the font. Look for the RN number. This stuff, it'll, it's not like I was an expert on faked clothing or faked polos when I started doing this five years ago, but you just see it enough and you pay attention and you start recognizing stuff. You can also like send a message to folks in this community here that will be able to help you with like identifying fake stuff. And, and honestly, it's not even a bad thing. Like if you buy something and it's fake and you take it home, I've bought fake Ralph Warren before. And you take it home and you realize it. It's like, okay, cool. You just paid $5 for a lesson. You'll probably still find a friend that wants the shirt. The fake that I brought home actually fit me pretty nice, so I wore it for a while. And then I sold it at a garage sale. Give me the loot Fortnite. That's funny. I don't know what that means. I don't know anything about that game, but give me the loot. Thanks for the follow. Bent mallet polo player. There you go. Yeah. Search that for comps. I wonder if somebody has like a bent mallet polo listed. What's the new core? That's a company. Thanks for the follow Finding 50. Finding 50 Sexy. What a cool screen name. Thanks for joining. If you're joining for the first time in this live, I'd love to hear too. Do you resell? And like, what's, the fav what's your favorite things to flip online? App State. Go apps, go nears. That's a, that's a cool hoodie. It's like a cheapo depot hoodie, but I love that like, like kind of retro style of that. Proud app state alum over here. Do you get area? Yep, I love area. Boots, jeans, shirts, love area. Barb, I've learned so much from y'all. The shirt was here two weeks ago. Two wheels of justice. Thank you for the follow, Lauren. And you know, while we're acknowledging and welcoming the new folks, I just want to take a second and say thanks to all you OGs who keep coming back and supporting me and teaching me. That means so much to me, it really does. I think we passed on this foot joy two weeks ago too. I think it was stained or something. What was wrong with it? There was something wrong with it, y'all, right? Why am I not trusting my instincts here? I swear I passed on this. What was wrong with it? I pick up some Abercrombie. I'm pretty picky about Abercrombie. I look for vintage stuff and really unique stuff. Abercrombie is a trickier one. I pass on probably 95% of it. That's, the same goes for like mall store brands, right? Like J. Crew and Express. I do pick up some L.O. Bean, but I don't pick up smaller stuff. This is a women's L.O. Beans. Right? Yeah, so women's L.O. Bean. There was something about this. I'm going to trust my... Oh, yeah, I see a spot on it now. There it is, right? It's front and center. I do pick up uh, Foot Joy. I do well with Foot Joy, especially this time of year. You price it right, you take good photos. It'll do well. And a dose of patience, of course, too. Chrissy, thanks for the follow. Welcome aboard. If you're new to, I do a live where a lot of resellers gather in that live here on TikTok, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. It's every weekday. But tomorrow, it'll be Southern Treasures Mac who's doing the live at that time. But if you give me a follow, you'll get that notification when I do go live. 
us resellers tend to work from home and have no co-workers so it's nice to have a, a community to talk to while you work um i passed on this last week with that logo i like picking up vintage triangle i'm going to pass on that one it also had like an embroidery like initials on this yeah that thing that was it i remember some stuff i swear learned a lot from y'all katie it's awesome thanks for sharing some positivity river rat thanks for the follow welcome aboard Jenny Nep, Jenny Nep, thanks for the follow. And we'll have to hear from you too if you guys just joining up or you guys, gals, just joining up. If you resell, I'd love to hear some of your, some of your favorite things to resell. Any juice finds, any juice finds, juice, juice, juice. I think that's an inside joke that I'm not picking up on because I'm a little slow. Thank you for the finger hearts, Surf's Up Finds. If you're not following Surf's Up Finds, that dude's alive all the time. He's always hustling. He's been reselling clothing a long time. He knows his stuff. He knows like the little ins and outs, the little intricacies. Give Surf's Up Finds. If you like this kind of stuff, if you enjoy learning about this, what's free assembly? Is that something? But follow Surf's Up Finds. Go ahead and click on his name. Won't cost you any money. He'll help you make money, actually. Free assembly. What the heck is this? You like selling vintage jewelry? That's cool. Centuries. Found an Orvis flannel shacket. Katie, you know the very first um, video that I ever did on TikTok about reselling was in June of 2020, almost three years ago. And it was an Orvis shacket. It was fleece lined and a denim on the outside. Walmart. Gotcha. Cool. Thank y'all. So that's funny that you found one of those. That was literally my first video. If you scroll all the way back through over a thousand TikTok videos, you'll find that very first video. It was terrible, but it's good knowledge. It was a good find. <laughs> Six and a half. That's a great reminder to any of you who are thinking about creating content and you're like interested in kind of sharing what you do and, and helping teach other people and share your journey. Get, just get started where you are. My, my first few videos, <laughs> my first probably few hundred videos were just not good. I still put out clunkers too, you know? Um, this is ring around the collar. It doesn't have a pony on the chest and it's a size large. I'm going to pass on that. But ring around the collar is kind of a deal breaker. It kind of negates all the other issues with it. But no pony is something that makes me back off of most of those too. And that's what we were talking about when we kicked off this live. You know, a lot of people think entrepreneurship is about being these, uh, it's about being this brilliant ideator, right? This visionary. Most entrepreneurship is just doing stuff over and over and over until you get really freaking good at it. And then you build innovations within your industry or within your niche. I do still pick up some of these. I'm not going to pick this one up. It has a ring around the collar. I'll pick up unique ones and I'll pick up ones that have like contrast collar or French cuffs. I'll pick up new tags ones. This one's kind of a pass all around. Thanks for the fires, Jay Hayes. Entrepreneurship is not about being brilliant and coming up with new ideas. It is about consistency. It's about having the courage to get started, trying something, and then just getting good at it, being consistent week after week. Day after day. I do pick up some chaps. I'm not going to pick up that one. I've passed on it like the last three times I've come to the store. So I'm not going to review that. I look for big sizes, unique stuff with chaps. That was neither. They haven't been stocking their suits and blazers at the Goodwills that I go to in my area for the last couple months. I think they're making the assumption that people don't buy these in the summertime. I don't think it's a good assumption. I sell it. Sales will actually pick up for me on blazers and suits come June. It's a little bit soft right now. It slows down a bit, but then it picks back up. People go to a lot of weddings and whatever. It's about honing your craft. Exactly. I mean, I'm talking about businesses. I mean, most, most businesses, things like someone who opens a landscaping, lawn mowing business, somebody who opens a convenience store, a gas station, a car wash, a dry cleaner, just getting really good at that craft. It takes time. Then like the big innovations come later. I mean, Bill Gates didn't like to start his career with a gigantic innovation, you know, like it came after he became really good at what he was doing. I think, I don't remember all his story. Now I pass on most things from this brand. So Land's End is the brand in question here. 
but goose down is one of those things that I'll pick up. I don't know if this is goose down or if it's a polyester fill. Yeah, it's a uh, 80% down, 20% feathers. So that's uh, that's what we're looking for. Um, I don't know what they want on jackets here. They like never have men's jackets like this. I'm not sure what the price is, but I'm probably gonna pay it no matter what. And yes, I'll list this right away. I literally sold a puffy goose down vest today for $99 plus shipping on Poshmark. Size small too, not even a good size. Um, my eBay, all my stores are linked up in my profile. You can click out on my name and you can check out my YouTube. You can check out all my stores. I just launched uh, a new line of coffee in collaboration with a local roaster, our favorite local roaster, Dynamite Roasting. You can check out that coffee at the link too. We sold 42 pounds of coffee in the first six days of launching it because this community is awesome. Thanks for the follow, Swept, Naomi, Tim, Yellowfish. I'll say hi real quick too. A lot of you folks probably don't, don't know me by face, so let's say a quick hello. Hello, hello, good afternoon, happy Tuesday. Hope everyone's having fun. Hope you're learning something too. Thanks everyone for the joining if you're following for the first time and thanks to all the OGs who have been hanging out day after day, week after week. Anyway, back to work. Where is this, sir? Asheville, North Carolina, Goodwill. This t-shirt rack is so tight, I can't even move stuff. I don't think I'm gonna spend the time to go through all these because most of the t-shirts, they're gonna want $4.99. So this Goodwill, and the, my local Goodwills, they consider a t-shirt only a t-shirt if it doesn't have the seam along the side. This one doesn't have a seam along the side, so this is considered a t-shirt, so they put a T on the tag. But we'll find another example of where they don't. Oh, these ones all have T's. That's interesting. What about this one? No, no T on this tag, so they charge four ninety nine in the port, not two ninety nine. Yeah, but wait a minute, this one doesn't have a seam, so that should be a T-shirt. But that's what they tell me at the register when I try to pay for T-shirts. They tell me if it has that seam, it's not a T-shirt. Just crazy talk, if you ask me. Oh, that one has a T, so they're inconsistent. It's their own rule; they're not even consistent. Take a picture. Oh, <laughs> it'll last longer. That's funny. What size is that shirt? I've been known to buy t-shirts for myself. That's a size XL. That's a really cool shirt though. I need to school them on t-shirt delineation. I don't think they're, uh, I don't think they want to be taken to school if you know what I mean. I think they're just fine with where they're at. They're content. They're content with being uh, wildly understaffed, wildly understocked not having sales to move old inventory, not maximizing their sales. They're very content. But I do love Goodwill, but you can critique those that you love too. So I do like picking up Levi's, especially big sizes. This one's a little rough around the edges and that's okay. People buy jeans like this, but there's no holes. There's really no heel drag either. Just a nice fade on them. A lot of like signs of washing, but I'll even pick them up if they have like slight holes and whatever. As long as it's not like blown out in the crotch or something like that. I don't like belt loops that are ripped either. That tends to hurt the sell through rate and resell, but I'm gonna pick these up. It's a pair of 550s. This is a modern-ish. No, this might be a Y2K. So let's do this. People ask a lot about Levi's, and I'm not a Levi's expert, but I know a little bit about Levi's. So I'm gonna take this off the hanger, and I'll show you the tag, so how I'm gonna date this. Um, I pick up the bigger sizes Levi's, and I prefer the gray and black uh, over the blue, but I, I pick up a lot of Levi's. 501s, 502s, 514, 541, 550, 559, 560. I pick up a lot of them. So this is a 46 by 30. So this tag, where is the, um, oh, here it is. See, this is our O2. So see how it says 4002. So that was uh, manufactured in the 40th week of 2002. So these are actually technically vintage. They're 21 years old now. They just turned 21 in April. 
So when you see this tag and, and this tag, that's why I said these might be Y2K actually. Well, there you go. So that doesn't mean these are going to be worth a ton of money, but uh, it means I'll probably list them a little bit higher. I'll put vintage in the, in the title, um, but I'll probably list them for big size like this too. I don't know. I'll probably list them for somewhere between 29 and 32 bucks. There's another one, 550 right behind it. You got a different tag sitch here. So let's take a look at this tag sitch. Likely donated by the same person. Looks like it's also a 46. This is the more modern. This is the one that you're gonna see most often. This is the triple tag. So see how there's a tag here, and then right next to it, there's these three right here. But some of the older versions of these are getting towards vintage. So that's a, uh, yeah, so this is 2014. So you can see the 50th month of 2014. A CW dash, that's what you're looking for on this more modern one. This is a 50 by 30, so I'm definitely picking these up. I'm not super concerned about the age on these Levi's. They're, for me, they're, they're big size and they're in decent shape. So these are coming home regardless. So don't get too hung up on that vintage piece. I sell a ton of Levi's and like, I don't know, maybe 2% of what I sell Levi's is actually vintage. But that does help if you can find the vintage ones. I have a hard time moving 30 inch inseam pants, especially when it's a big size. Interesting. Interesting. Here's a pair of 505s, big size, 42 by 32. You got a different tag situation on this one. So let's check this one out. I listed a pair of 60 by 32 Levi's this week. That's awesome. That's the biggest I've ever uh, bought and sold was a size 60. I think that's my standing record. I've heard of people selling bigger. Here we go. So this is, I think, what they would refer to as the black, black bat wing tag. The bat wing tag. I'm not sure if I can see the age and be cut off. It might be that 0301. Maybe somebody else knows. Made in Mexico. It might be 0301. January 03. Or am I seeing that? Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You're saying it's backwards. It's 0301. Can you grab the fat tire shirt and sell it to me? I don't even remember where the fat tire shirt was. I'm gonna pick these up either way. These are a 42 by 32, so a big size. I consider big size jeans anything 38 plus. It's kind of an arbitrary number, but that sort of number has always worked for me. 38 and bigger, that's a size 42 on those. And again, I'm not too concerned with the number. 505, 501, 502, 514, 541. Um, they all sell for me, 517, 559, 550. I do find more 505s in the wild than I find anything else, though. On the collared shirt rack, jeez, I don't know. Thank you for the follow, Amy P. Maybe dumb, how do you know if it's vintage? Um, the most commonly accepted definition of vintage are things that are uh, clothing that's over 20 years old. There's a lot of different definitions of vintage and you can go down a big, deep, dark argument rabbit hole with people about that. Because technically vintage means of age, something of age. So it could mean really anything, right? But with us clothing resellers and collectors, uh, the, the most commonly accepted definition is something that's 20 years or older, which is crazy to think that things that were made in 03 are now vintage. Here's another pair of jeans this is the type of wear it's not my favorite type of wear but this isn't a, a total game ender we're going to look at the rest of the formula meaning the size the rest of the condition the age yeah they've already like repaired these and they've still ripped again right yeah they've been repaired it's not necessarily a deal breaker but the tags are ripped out on this so that's not super I could still measure it and get a, a feel for size, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and pass on these. They are a big size too. There's just no size tag. I won't be able to date them, although it does say the over 145 years. That's a little tip on date, but I think I'm gonna pass on those. Just, um, if they had the tag, I'd, I'd consider it. Are you saying I'm now vintage? No, Southern Treasures, you still, you still need to, another like 10 years, you'll be vintage. Dustin uses in the house, any good finds? I think we got some good stuff. We just got a uh, goose down, I'm just looking back at the card, a goose down jacket in there. We just picked up three big size Levi's. I don't know if there's anything crazy in there. I really like those big dog shirts, that was fun. Uh, jeans will be $4.99, shirts will be $4.99. I don't know how much that goose down jacket will be, to be honest with you. There wasn't a tag on it. Ooh. Hold on. It's impossible to try to hang up these pants without two hands. I'll be back. Talk amongst yourselves. We're going to finish up these pants. We're going to start looking at some shoes real quick. We'll run over to electronics. We'll skim. We'll skim a few of the hard goods aisles. I don't spend a lot of time over there these days. I, I'll get a lot of that stuff at garage sales. I picked up a good amount of electronics and hard goods type of stuff this weekend at garage sales. All right, we got some more pants to look through. We actually have a lot more pants. Interesting. We already passed on this Nike Golf Tennessee. Would you pick this up, Nike Golf Tennessee? More of a modern tag. Oh, it's got some poles and stains. Never mind. Curious though, would you pick up a Nike Golf quarter zip pullover? 100% polyester. I wanted to know. $4.99 for the Levi's. Thanks for the follow, having fun. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that one. So you'd pick it up, Jim. I'm going to pass on it just because the, uh, it's the stains and the pulls, but that's good to know that you would pick it if it was not uh, flawed. So about all the questions, but when and how do you make your eBay a store? I've just started listing. Um, you get 200 and free, 250 free listings per month, so if you're just getting started, you probably don't need it right away. Uh, but once you start kind of approaching that 250 listings mark, you might consider it. Uh, the best thing to do, and this is probably not the right live for me to like talk through all the pros and cons of the store, but I would just Google like eBay store subscription and look at different levels, see how much they cost, see the benefits of each level, and then make like a good decision. But I don't think you have to worry about that right away. To be honest, just get started. Focus on buying good items, taking good photos. Um, shipping stuff quickly to your customers, describing items really well, building up your seller reputation, and then all those other smaller decisions that don't really matter all that much, that feel like they matter a ton right now, all those things get a lot easier, but none of it really matters until you, until you build up your store, you build up your reputation, you start making some money. Did you guys pick up Tommy Bahama denim? I never find Tommy Bahama denim. Is there any value in this? Honestly, I can't even think of ever of an example of me coming across these. Tommy Bahama denim. I'll look at the size to get an idea of size matters. Yep, 38 by 30, so it's a bigger size. Maybe that's the model, Barbados. Barbados, 38 by 30, Tommy's. They're in good shape, nice little fade to them. Love that fade. Picked up two pairs two weeks ago. Good photos are key. Focus on that stuff, finding good items, taking good photos, shipping fast. Providing that good customer service, you can worry things like about things like store subscriptions and stuff later on. No, they are too short. Get them in a Mac. I'm not sure I understand the too short. 30 is not really a short. That's kind of like a very that's like a very average length. I'm not sure I understand that. 75 new sold out. Yeah, the new price isn't really super helpful to the conversation, unfortunately, for something like that. What's more helpful is the used price over the last 90 days on eBay, what they're actually selling for. Grab those. Get the tummy bees. Okay. 
These better not be zero exposure stuff, <laughs> Mr. Triptastic. I don't know why we keep coming back to that, but I'm having fun with it. Hope you're having fun with it too. Tommy Bahamas going in the cart. I'll put some comps up on the screen if you're watching this on YouTube. Are they guy jeans? Yeah, they're 38 by 30s. Sold 18 to 29. Okay, we'll take them for a ride. I've never found Tommy jeans before, I don't think. I can't think of an example of it. I don't remember everything I've bought and sold over the years, but I don't remember Tommy jeans before. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, Goodwill. I'm going through a pants rack. Everything in here will be $4.99. Anything I do buy is going to go onto eBay, Poshmark, Depop, Mercari, Grail, and Facebook Marketplace for sale. July will make it five years since I started doing this. And I've been been my primary source of income for the past two and a half years now. Work from home. My wife works from home too, but run the business totally out of the house and out of the garage. We don't have a storage unit because we're lucky enough that our space has a garage so I can keep all the clothes out there on racks, on bins. I make my own hours. I go live with y'all all the time, flap my gums to hang out, but mostly just to try to share share this business, help people grow their business too, which is really fun. Worked in education for this for more than 10 years before that, most specifically as a career coach. Working with students and alumni from colleges and universities and career schools, help them find work. So for me, teaching is really fun. So it's great to be in a position after doing this for so long that I feel like I can help teach and build community and that's another piece of it sometimes the best teaching that happens in my lives has nothing to do with me it just happens that sorry I gotta fix this up. it's just because i helped create the space for people to have meaningful conversation so there's a lot of teaching that happens that literally has nothing to do with me it just happens happens to happen in the chat here Thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow, Amber. Does the temperature in your garage cause any issues with your clothing? No, I, I ran this business in Tampa, Florida before this and did the same thing. And it's a lot hotter down there, let me tell you something. But you already knew that. Thank you for the thank you for the follow user one one eight. Thank you for the follow user three two six four four two three five three seven nine six six. Are these more of these king size? No, what is this? Rain areas? What the heck is that? Jockey. Titans. Some LL beans. I don't pick up all LL bean jeans. I do like the flannel lines. I'll pick up some of the bigger sizes, but these. LL beans not the type of brand that people are really looking for, like the stressed, if that makes sense, you know? They can be faded and stuff, but these are borderline for me anyway. Even in the bigger size, I'm gonna pass on those ones. But that doesn't mean I pass on all jeans that have like heel drag and some wear. Just LL Bean's sort of a borderline brand for jeans anyway. Not so great with clothes, unfortunately. What brands should I look out for if I'm just starting for pants and shirts? I'm good with video games. Cool, Nostalgia Gamer, thanks for, uh, thanks for popping in. It's a good time for everybody in the community to, be, to um, participate in this education here. Share some of your favorite shirts and jeans and pants brands down in the chat so Nostalgic Gamer can get an idea of some brands. Of course, we always talk about looking beyond the brand. Like, I just passed on that L.L. Bean, but I might pick up another L.L. Bean. So you got to look beyond the brand, too. But brands is a good place to get started. Then you got to learn sizes and materials and models and all that stuff. But share some of your favorite brands and things to look for in the clothing section. Things that can help Nostalgia Gamer may, maybe, maybe grow into the middle part of the thrift store. Sounds like Nostalgia Gamer has got video games on lock. But I love when folks um, who resell other things like to venture into clothing to kind of fill up the cart. Make better use of your time at thrift stores and garage sales if you can pick up some, of the, some valuable clothes and make some money there too. Here we go, we got some good stuff loading up in the chat. Straight from TJ Maxx. Damn, shopping straight from TJ Maxx. Where does it stop? Tobias, I'm not sure what you what you mean. We're not at TJ Maxx. 
just started picking up corduroy Levi's. Love corduroy Levi's. Ralph Lauren. I buy and sell more Ralph Lauren than any other brand. I've probably sold, honestly, I've probably sold a thousand Ralph Lauren pieces over the years. That'd be actually an interesting research project for me to do is look back over all the years and see like how many of certain brands have sold. Ralph Lauren is definitely, I don't even have to look it up. I've sold, bought and sold more Ralph Lauren than anything else. It's just so common in the thrift stores. Y'all share some brands, please. Brands that you look for at thrift stores to help out. Some of your favorites. Johnny O, there's a good one. I'm just bad at like naming brands off the spot. I think I'd be good at it, but when you start doing this a lot, it's not like it's not like I come out looking for stuff, like specific things. I have to go through all the things and stuff kind of comes at you. It's more like passive, if that makes sense. The brands appear in front of me and I have to make decisions. I guess when I first started though, I, I used to jot down like new brands on like a little piece of paper, scrap paper. I'd watch Jason Hayes on YouTube. I would watch Ready, Set, Resale on YouTube. I'd jot down some brands I'd never heard of, put that in my pocket and go to the thrift store. 505s. So I generally do better, a little bit better with non-blue Levi's. I pick up blue Levi's too. I got three in the cart. Two, three? I think three in the cart. But I like the non-blues just because it's a supply thing. There won't be as many of these listed. I don't love that mark here. You know, no one's going to be like, oh, yay, there's a freaking mark on the front. Like a little rip or a hole isn't usually a as big of a deal, but I don't know about those. They're pretty washed out, which isn't the biggest deal. I just don't like that mark. 505, 38 by 30. I don't know. I'm going to throw them in the cart. I want to think about those. I don't think there's a wrong, right or wrong decision with those, by the way. If I buy them, I'll make the decision right by selling them, pricing it a little lower, getting the move. Even mistake buys can still be profitable. Here's a pair of 569, same thing, 38. No heel drag. Nice fade, looks like a little discoloration right there. Not bad though. Let me pick these up. Y'all, I know it's like getting hot in a lot of places and spring just sprung in a lot of like places up north, but we're closer to fall shopping season than you might think. That kind of stuff picks up in August and really starts cranking in September and October. We're not far from that. It's gonna be June in a week. Right? Then we get slow season for selling clothing. You know, retail is just slow during the summer. People are on vacation. They don't wear as much clothes. They're wearing board shorts and flip flops and tank tops, right? They're not buying as much. But when back to school comes in August, things pick up and that's like jeans, flannels. We're closer to that season than you think. I recently picked up Jimmy Choo purse and wonder if it's worth getting authenticated before selling. Maybe somebody in the in the chat knows more about that. I don't really, I don't know the first thing about purses to be honest with you. When I don't know something, I'll be honest about it. And I don't know anything about purses. Peter Millar Mans, there, there you go. So two lucky brand jeans, one woman and one man's nice. Blue Don dish show. Vineyard Vines, Ralph Warren, Tommy Bahama, Silk or Winnin, Johnny O, those are some great brands. Baby Peak has a little list. Baby Peak had a little list. I ain't got no list. <laughs> That's a flex. I don't need no list. I probably should do more of that. Here you go. I really like picking up this, uh, this line of Ralph Warren. It's called uh, Denim and Supply. They no longer make it. It was discontinued in 2016. It wasn't around for very long, maybe six years. So there's really just not that many units of it sold. It just wasn't around long enough. But it tends to be more like Americana, Western style. Got a little heel, heel drag, I don't mind that. Little heel drag, I don't mind that. Little wear up there, that's okay. 
See that little like American flag hit right there. These aren't crazy valuable, but I do like picking stuff up from this from this line. This seems like a smaller size. I'll take it off and see the size. 30 by 30 is a small size for men's. I'm gonna pick it up anyway just because there won't be a lot of this listed. They're in nice shape. Nice pair of jeans. Smaller size men's are a tougher sell, but it's a formula. Each part of the formula isn't necessarily like a deal breaker, right? But this line is a good line. The condition's good. I'm gonna pick them up. It's a good one to look for. Get a fresh rack out, y'all. Let's go. How's it going, man? Do you mind if I just look through these? Cool. Thank you. Fresh rack. What is that? We're picking up jackets in the winter. We're closer to, to fall selling season than you think. So this might be reversible. So the brand name for this might be in the pocket. Yeah, it's a reversible piece, so we're going to have to go into a pocket for this. I'm going to throw it in the cart. I can't do this with one hand. I think it's a no-name brand, to be honest with you. Let's go see. the heck is that? Sport coaster? I don't think that's anything. You think anything? Sport caster. Eric Case is in the house. What's up? Thanks for the gifts. That's kind of you. Thank you. What are you giving me? The music box, speaker box thing. Thank you. If you're watching on YouTube on the recording, you're probably like, what is he talking about? You can give like gifts on TikTok and Eric Hayes is kind enough to give me some speaker boxes. Vineyard Vines, size small, whale shirt. I'm going to pass on that. I'm sure I still have some Vineyard Vines from three years ago that size small, still sitting in my freaking store. Size small men's can be really tough. Don't get me wrong, I'll pick up some size small, but I picked up a size small men's vintage LL Bean. Some of you might remember that from last week at the thrift store. And guess who confiscated that? Kim is wearing it as we speak right now. All right, the fresh rack was a false alarm, nothing off there. Where were we? We were over here. Pass on reverse coat, thank you. Just seemed like cheapo depot. It was all like roughed up anyway. Always Stuart plaid, all sized family Christmas pick. Top prices always Stuart plaid. Always is that a brand? Always Stuart. Thank you for Pisner for sharing bolas as always. Eric Case, thanks for the fire, brother. Eric, I'm gonna be coming down to Greenville, I think again in like uh, two or three weeks. So we'll have to talk about that offline. Connect if you're interested. Do some more thrifting together. Thanks for the follow, Roxanne. Katie's from Alabama. Katie wants to know where's everyone from. Let us know where you're joining from. And I always like to know what's the what's the weather like in your neck of the woods. Like what's the high temp in your neck of the woods today? Thank you for the follow, Vicky. Greenville, South Carolina. Yep, I'm about an hour north of Greenville, South Carolina. I'm in Asheville. But my man Eric is down in Greenville. He was nice enough to take me out to some of his favorite thrifts a few weeks ago. We went live a few times. Good, clean, fun. What do we got here? Kirby boot cut. Uh, Levi's, I'm good. I don't pick up women's Levi's. Maybe I should. I don't know. Let me know if you do good on them. I've just always passed on them. Knightstown here. Where's Knightstown? You said it like I should just know what state that's from. I'm not familiar with Knightstown, honestly. I 
saw that lab. Oh, the Greenville lab? Yeah, it was fun. Got some good stuff, too. I finally got uh, at least some of that stuff listed. Probably most of that stuff listed. I'm a little behind on listing. Just because now that I've been going to garage sales, I've been getting more stuff and taking that time away from listing. It's a one-person operation. I guess that's how it goes. So for the questions, just trying to learn how much on average does it cost you to ship. Uh, clothing is going to be, average would be like, say, 550 or uh, shirts would be like 550 Jeans always cost me uh, between 8 and $8.30. Do All right, so we're through all that. We're through all that. We're through all that. Did we do these jeans? Oh, we did, but we didn't get this last little spot because that guy was looking. Hey, I'm glad we came back here. So we got some Levi's cords. I like selling corduroys. There's something right there. So these are 559. Ooh, cut. Gotta check the tag situation. No tag situation? Oh, here we go. 3830, 559s. I like big size. I like corduroy. Sorry, I gotta put you down. As soon as I touch the jeans, they fell off. All right. Remember wide leg and all that stuff. I don't want to say it's coming back. It's back. All the kids are wearing like the relaxed fit, wide leg. It's back. Maggie Valley, North Carolina, like down the street from me. I haven't been to Maggie since we moved back in October. A little wear on the back, but that's okay. Whoever's going to buy these is going to be psyched about like a little wear, the fact that they're broken in. Nice. Good find on those. I don't find a lot of Levi's corduroys. Those are nice, huh? I could get rich off them, but I'll make a little more. Nudio Live just wondered, do you go shopping every day? No, I typically go on Tuesdays. Um, I have been garage sailing on most Saturdays now that it's nice out. And occasionally I'll stop by like a thrift store on the way back from an appointment or something, but I'm not an every I'm not an everyday thrifter. Alright, we're gonna do some quick spins around. We're gonna check shoes real quick. I don't find a ton of shoes at the store, but every now and again, a good one pops up and we'll grab it. Cole Han's a good brand to look for. I'm gonna pass on these. This is a Nike Air Cole Han. I haven't seen these in a while. I used to sell these a lot. They're pretty worn out. I'm gonna pass on those. The shoes, I think they want $5.99. I forget. I used to sell a lot of those Cole Haan Nike Airs. Condition just wasn't good on those. I don't pick up all Cole Haan. They're not all awesome. Zero Grand is a great Cole Haan to look for. Those look like dance goes, don't they? It's because they are dance goes. I like dance goes. These are a little rough, though. Oh, they're more than a little rough. They're a lot rough. So pass on those. Great brand to look for, dance go, if you're not already picking them up. They usually look just like that. Let's go to haul over there. Nice, hauling out. Maybe people get surprised by something valuable. I always get Vero on Nike Kohan. Do you get Vero or do they just tell you to take it down because you can't put two name brands? So what a lot of people do is they put Nike Air as one word. Reisner. Just put in Nike Air one word together and it won't pick up on that. Because uh, it thinks you're putting in two different brands. It thinks you're putting in Nike and Kohan. Just put Nike Air together one word and you'll be good. No Roundtree in York yet. Eric Hayes only buys and sells Roundtree in York. All right, shoes on the back are a no-go. We'll go to the front. Yeah. That's the way it used to work, is you just put Nike Air together in one word and it, tri it trips the system or trips the system. 
I don't know if they've changed it because I haven't sold the Nike Air Colons in a while now. I used to sell those a lot. I find them in Denver a lot for whatever reason. This is a style that's good to look for, like that wingtip style. But that was a bad brand. Fake Crocs or knockoff Crocs. We didn't go through these shorts, so we might just do a quick spin. Maybe do a quick spin. There's really not that many of them. Gosh, they could think of how much money they could make if they just stocked up all those shorts. They could put three times as much out that's out there right now. It's short season, too. This is the time you want to be selling that stuff. Yes, any win to quarter. Any wingtip quarter, half, and full. Well, there you go, from uh, from Arcade. Perforated Brogue style. Oh, there we go. You know what I call them? Leather shoes with holes in them. <laughs> yeah, all your fancy names. And I'm, of course, 100% kidding. It's good to know all those keywords. But don't let that discourage you when you're first getting started. Don't let that be a blocker. Like, hey, I don't know like what all the style names and stuff. Don't let that. You'll still sell stuff. You'll figure it out as you go. I do pick up some Levi's shorts. I'm not going to pick up those. I, I don't pick up the Levi's signature. But maybe that's a bad idea. That's like maybe old wisdom from years ago. Maybe it is a good idea to pick up Levi's signature. I just always passed on them because I used to because the value wasn't there. But maybe it's different now. I should ask more questions. Sell so signature at Walmart. Gotcha. Hey, hip flipping mama. The hippest, the flippest. All right, what's next? We didn't do all the shoes. We got to do a little bit more shoes. We did the shorts. We'll take a spin over. What are those? We'll take a spin over through electronics and hard goods. Hey, wait a minute. Did I do this? I didn't do this rack, did I? I did this rack. Well, there's really not that much here, so it's not going to take us very long. Do you hold on listing? No, I, I list stuff when I get home. Here we go. Here's a pull Ralph Warren on a modern tag there. Modern real tag. Pony, contrast, collar. I'm gonna throw it in the cart. I might pass on it because of this. I hate picking up these like collars that are worn out like that. It's a borderline item anyway. I don't know, I like the contrast collar. I think I can sell that. If I price it right, that'll move pretty quickly. The contrast collar is nice. Ooh, I like that little, peep, that little hit right there too. Nice little detail. Somebody will want that. I saw uh, Surf's Up just hauling out today on uh, on Scrubs. I never look at Scrubs, but maybe we'll just do that real quick. Don't pass on the case up front. They don't have a case up front here, brother. Yeah, they don't. They don't have a case up front here. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, he killed it with the figs. What was that other brand, too? I looked at the comps for those. Those looked like they were good. I forget what it was called. It's like a funky, funky word. Like, had like two U's and two V's or something like that. Never found fig scrubs, and I'm searching. Let me know if there's any other things. It wasn't Juno. Is that another one I should be looking? That's it. Janu. That was the one, Reisner. You were close with the Juno saves. Janu. All right, we'll quickly go through these. Real life, I don't, 
The idea of touching these scrubs is not making me super happy right now, if I'm being honest. I don't get weirded out by too many things. I'm a dirt bag at heart. Dirt bag climber, but scrubs are icky. Sorry, but they are. Yeah, I do pick up most Carhartt. Good seller. Let me know if there's any other brands other than Figs and Janu. I'm gritting my teeth and bearing this. They are clear. Gray's Anatomy and Scrubs is good too. Oh, no problem. Gray's Anatomy. They actually have, that's like a TV show, right? They have like a TV show, Gray's Anatomy Scrubs. That's kind of a smart move actually, now that I think about it. I think what those scrubs, yeah, gross. Stop it, Eric. I'm doing this for y'all. I don't even want these. I might find good scrubs just to show them to you and leave them behind because I don't want to touch them. to Grey's Anatomy one, did I? Oh my gosh. Are they worth, like, what are they worth before I go back and touch all these again? What would a Grey's Anatomy, yeah, boil me exactly. <laughs> Mostly kidding, but not really kidding. Yuck. Just pass on scrubs, I probably will. Go wash your hands. Stop it. Are these uh, Gray's Anatomy ones worth? Still waiting on that. Anybody? Help a brother out, huh? Landau? Is that anything? We're looking for figs and figs and that other brand. I already forget the name of it. Janu. Canada, eh? January. We always carry pocket hand sanitizer. There you go. My figs and Janu. Would it be too much for these brands to like? What did I grab? That was ridiculous. Should be playing left field. What am I doing at the thrift store? That'd be too much to ask just to put the freaking put the brand. Fancy, I'm sure you are right. I'm sure your statement is 100% right that most people donate flash scrubs. I'm certain that you are 100% right on that. Look for jogger style, gotcha. There's a lesson here, y'all. Thrift what you like thrift, and there's so much different things that you can make money on. You don't have to make money on all the things. I like thrifting for scrubs about as much as I thought I would like it. Stop. Stop it. Oh, there's that brand right there. Janu. There you go. You learned it. A pair of pants. That's jogger style, right? We 
got a little zip, a little zipper right there, a little drawstring. Of course, they're not going to put the size tag in a place that would be really easy. Yes, I mean, what are these worth though? They're going to want $4.99 for this, so like, what are these going to sell for? A pair of jogger, genuine. Do I really have to go on the inside of these? Why can't they just put a size tag like on the back, like a normal pair of pants? They're size XL. A good trick on the scrubs is watch your waistband. Look at your news compared to those green ones. <laughs> Nailed it. Great size. Oh, stop it. Over there's uh, some normal pants. Most likely get $40. Who's, who's got comps on these? Janu Jogger, size XL. They're talking about it so much. What are they going to sell for? What are they going to sell for? $15 to 20, 15 to 24. Same size, 21 plus. Black is used a lot. Same looks of a company. Sylvan Mercari, 20 to 22. Oh man. Do I have to get these? Do I have to get these? XL Black eBay. Okay. What's that mean? Did you see the top? Uh, I don't think so. Try and see how they sell. I would get them if I were you. Okay. The tops are over here, so I should be looking for like a black matching top A. Is that the deal? I'm learning with y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't want to touch anything. I don't see like a black top. You already went through all these, so I think they just donated the bottoms. What does that mean happened to the top? Something really tragic happened to the top? Next haul is all scrubs. No, I already put those things in my car. What's these ones? These ones look like jogger style too, right? What are these? Angie Uniforms Yoga Flex 2XL Yoga Flex. They're joggers. That's what you said to look for, right? Joggers? The bottoms are a slower sale on. So are you saying I shouldn't get those, cat? Means they kept the top. I picked up five pairs of figs a few weeks ago sitting in my list pile. I know to wear a t-shirt so I have more bottoms and tops. Depends on price, they're five bucks. The sets do a lot better. Okay. Everybody that I know is texting me right now. Why are you texting me? It's one o'clock on Tuesday. You know what I'm doing. Why is everyone texting me? They sell, sets do better. Depends on price. List them, they sell so fast. How oh, crazy, all right. Yuck. All right. Well, thanks for that. That was fun. Kind of. Let's go over. We'll spin through. Tony G, thanks for the follow. We'll spin through some like hard goods. Full of piece here. That's sick. 15 bucks on it. That's sick. Old Magna box like that. Super cool. The lean, mean, fat grilling machine. Try going to a thrift store and not finding one of those or like 10 of those. $20. Mercy. There's an Insta box. $30. Old, like janky speakers ripped up. Probably don't work. Six bucks each. What speakers are in the ground? That's another one. Another Magnavox. We want sixty five for this set.
actually just bought like a little power strip at a, a garage sale the other day. I just bundled it in with some other stuff for 20 bucks. Probably paid nothing for it. Oh, sure. Gotta look at those golf clubs. Look at that, that's cool. What is that? A nap cap? Oh my gosh, it's for like a it's like a cat bed or something? That is so cool. Oh man. We still had cats, but 100 percent get this. Although I think getting like weird or used pet stuff is kind of strange, but cat probably peed in it or something. Is that what that is? It's a cat. They want twelve dollars for it. What a mercy. We're in Asheville, North Carolina. Isn't that thing cool? Looks like something snaps on the top of it. I'm not sure what that. Oh, maybe it's this. I don't know. It's just like a pillow. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Pretty rad. An old briefcase here. I like it. Uh, it's kind of rough. Franzen. You want five bucks for it? Good luck finding the code on that. I picked up a Samsonite briefcase. It was in better shape than that one just a couple weeks ago, which reminds me, I need to list that briefcase. All right, let's look through some golf clubs. I never find good golf clubs at thrift stores around here. It's all stuff like this, Tour Model 2s. But maybe we'll get a Scotty Cameron just laying around in here. How cool would that be? We're gonna have that kind of luck today. Oh. It's kind of weird. It's like a half full, simple green bottle. It's a strange thing to sell, but people buy a lot of stuff. you pick up uh, there's a lot of different golf brands I pick up but it's, that's definitely something you have to like look beyond the brand too um, like ping I pick up a lot of Adams golf uh, Callaway like big Bertha stuff like that but you gotta look like the age of them out matters the model matters Scotty Cam putters but yeah it's definitely like a beyond the brand sort of a thing Sacramento in the house. What's up? Oh, I don't know, Mustache. That's a great name. Welcome, welcome, brother. Garfield Village House. Pray. Look at all those Patagoshi, Patagucci's we passed up for your cat bed. We need that little. Sometimes when you read through comments, it's kind of funny. Garfield Village House. Thrift store is too much germs for me. Yuck. When you say it in that voice, it makes it more funny. I think. Briefcase full of straps, maybe. Brandon Fax Low. I found an office indoor putting green for three dollars another day. Hey, that's pretty cool. Janu, are they six pocket? I think they're one pocket. Remember that time I had a cart? Oh, shit, where is my cart? Oh, I had it over here, didn't I? <laughs> I usually live it up front there. I took it back here with me. Found fifty dollars in pocket. Sick. I love those orange mugs. Good afternoon, Laura. Thanks for follow Brandy. Go back exclamation point.
Go back exclamation point. Okay. Like where I came from, go back to where I came from. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's not nice. Any luxury purses? Not sure. I don't really do purses. Wow, your store is so big. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Garfield Village House. Thank you for the invitation to, uh, to join the live, Pendu. I'm going to decline, but feel free to drop questions or comments down below in the chat. Hope you're having a good day. Watch the roller coaster camera, please. I don't know what y'all are saying sometimes. Thank you for the follow, Tasha. Thank you for the follow. Terrific. You at Goodwill. Yep. Do you have a online sale? I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm over here cleaning shoes, wondering if he thinks that I'm gross. No, I clean shoes. It's not my favorite thing, but I don't really mind shoes so much. I wish I was there. Okay. I wish you were here too. That'd be fun. I love thrifting. Yeah. All right. Appreciate all the questions and comments. Sometimes I have no idea what y'all are talking about, <laughs> but I think it's still cool. Let me flip this camera around and say bye to y'all. Flip camera. Hey, there he is. What's up? Hope everyone's doing good. Thanks for joining. It's your first time. Appreciate you hanging out for a little bit. We're going to go over all these clothes here. Obviously, I got to check them over for stains and flaws and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to look those over. There's probably some items that I got to comp to that I never picked up before. So we'll do that here in just a second. But otherwise, I'm going to log off to do that so I can have two hands and go through everything and, and comp some things. But I appreciate you all hanging out for a little bit. If you missed some parts of this live and you want to check out what I picked up or what I passed on, I'm going to put this whole recording up on YouTube. So it'll drop on YouTube Wednesday morning, 9.15 is when I typically drop these. So appreciate everybody for hanging. Thanks for leaving some love. Thanks for the 14.4 thousand likes. We'll see.